Well, hi everyone. So today we're gonna play with Essence Makeup. It is one of my favorite brands for certain items and we'll talk about that. I have some favorites from them. I'm gonna show we're gonna be doing our makeup together. So you'll see all these in action, but a lot of these, a lot of these are new to me, like ones I haven't tried. I literally just went to the store while I was grocery shopping, popped over into the section where they usually have a lot of essence stuff and bought a bunch of stuff I've never tried. Some that you guys have recommended, some that are newer and some that I was just curious about. So that's what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure the only thing I don't have is a foundation. So I have tried the Essence Pretty Natural Foundation. I was just not the biggest fan of it, which really does stink because it's totally kind of up my alley. Uh, more like light to medium coverage, a little more natural looking. But I just found that it was a little bit patchy on my skin and I, I just couldn't find the right combo to make it work. But a lot of people do like that. So if you're looking for a foundation, it might be worth trying. I'm just not a fan, so I'm gonna use a different, affordable as well, like kind of comparable foundation price-wise. Anyway. That's all. Um, let's dive in. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Today I am drinking the Fairlife, I don't know, the, Tyler bought these, the Core Power High Protein Milkshake. It's a lot of protein. It's like 52% of what I need. So I should probably like work out or like use that protein for something. All right. So I'm a little torn. I've already put on like SPF on my face. I'm torn because I have two primers to use. So I have the Essence My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer. It says it's got an instant blur effect and a natural matte finish. And then I also have the Essence Fix and Last Jelly Primer. It's supposedly makeup gripping, but it's also hydrating. I just want to feel this jelly primer. So it's definitely, oh, it's thinner. I thought it'd be like stickier right off the bat. It's not sticky at all. I don't love the way that feels. It's it's It literally feels like water and I, it doesn't feel gripping like, you know, most other primers that are like that, that claim to be gripping have like a little grip to them. This just feels like water. And it's supposed to be a little bit hydrating, it feels slightly hydrated, but not a ton. So I think I'm going to go in with the tinted one. Honestly, that's the one I'm kind of more interested in anyway. So I got the shade Fair Neutral. Um, and it says it's a lightweight mousse texture with a velvety feel that makes pores optically disappear. I'm so curious. Of course, it was hard like picking out a shade. I think I got the lightest shade. Ooh, is it so thick it won't come out? Oh, she's moussey. Oh, it's so thick, you guys. I think I'm going to be choosy about how much I put on because sometimes this can be, this can kind of be the type of product that I'm going to have to, the sun is coming in and out behind clouds. So it's going to be, yeah, hold on. I just feel like this is the kind of product that can kind of pill up if you put too much on. It's kind of funny. Let me zoom you in a bit. I feel like you can see like where, you know, it ends because it does have a slight bit of color to it. I'm just going to put it in this region here. I don't want to go everywhere because I know the second I put this on my forehead, it's going to pill up and look weird right here. That's always like my problem area where I get like too much product there. So it does feel smooth. I mean, it really does feel smooth. And this kind of product can be nice for longevity too. Like it can, it can make your makeup look nicer, but I feel like it can sometimes help it last a little bit longer too. It just depends. But it has a nice feel. If you're really into that kind of smoothing, pore filling primer, you might like this. It does feel different than other ones I've tried. I, I'm just not sure about this product yet. Um, the reality is, oh my gosh, this lighting. <laughs> snip, snap, snip, snap. Do you guys know what that's from when I say that? Now it's behind a cloud. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> whatever. The problem is, I, I keep saying in every video, and I know you guys are probably getting annoyed, but I'm still not done to have like my lighting and stuff set up. So I'm totally depending on natural light. And this, my friends, is why it is very difficult to, even though I really do like the lighting better, natural light, okay, no one cares, Jess. It's just, it's a you problem, okay? Anyway, so verdict is still out on this. By the way, at the end of this video, I'll kind of do a roundup of my top like three to five products, the ones that I really, really highly recommend and maybe my bottom few, just to kind of help because I know this is like a lot to be showing in one video, a lot of products. All right, so like I said, I don't really have a foundation to put on, so I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow. I really, really like this foundation. It's been around for a while. Make up your mind. All right, we're back. So the NYX Born to Glow is a product I really do like. I have this fear that it's going to be discontinued just because of some things I saw online. I'm like, no, no, no. But I really like it like a lot, a lot. We're going to put that on just so that we have a foundation on. And then, I mean, oh, 
it's so freaking good. Like it covers enough for what I like, but then it still has like leaves your skin feeling or like looking still hydrated, but not like crazy glowy or crazy dewy or oily or anything. It's just like the perfect amount. One of you guys brought up, and I think you may be right. I've always felt that I have dry skin and I did have way drier skin. But like lately, I feel like my skin is looking a little bit more, or I should say a little bit less dry. And I think because of that, I think I really do have more normal skin now. So I think I'm going to stop saying that I have dry skin because I definitely don't have oily skin, but I, I think you guys are right. The few of you guys that have commented, I think you're right. I think my skin is now more normal. I don't know if that's, you know, going through two pregnancies and just hormones and how, and your skin can just change. I feel like, you know, anyway, mm, I love it. Born to Glow. I wear the shade Porcelain, if you were curious. So, never tried this concealer. This is the Essence, wait, or have I? It would have been a while ago if I have. The Essence Camouflage Concealer. I didn't see a lot, and again, I was in store buying this, so, you know, the selection online is gonna be bigger, and some of this I did buy online previously, but anyway. It seems, it says it's a matte concealer, but it doesn't look wildly matte, like even blending it in, so. We are gonna see, I'm kind of like mixing it up because you know how like sometimes makeup sits in the store for a while and you're like, mm, how long has that been sitting there? Like who's who's checking that? I'm pretty sure I just got this on myself. Okay. Oh my gosh. Listen, I love the sun, but this shall make me crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of blend it in with this brush. This is the BK Beauty 108, kind of fluffier brush, but it does a great job for concealer. I mean, that blended in super fast. Wow. It actually looks really, really smooth. I kind of expected to look at it up close and be like, oh no, it actually looks really nice. And that was some decent coverage too. So seeing with and without, you can really see it definitely help with that blueness and then without. So now in a little bit better lighting with it and without. That looks pretty nice, I have to say. Sometimes, like some of my favorite concealers, oh, I put on way more than I did. Some of my favorite concealers are from the drugstore. Oh, is it Catrice? The one that, um, it's like, I don't know the name. I'm gonna make it up. I'll link it below. I absolutely, it's like truly, or is it Makeup Revolution? I think I have a favorite from both of them. And I don't think it's here right now, but anyway, I'll link my two favorites below that are just so unbelievably effortlessly beautiful. And this is kind of reminding me of that. Like, that was so easy. It looks so nice and covered up, but it doesn't look like, at least so far, it's not looking cakey and weird. So very, very cool. Now I have this, actually before I do that, let's do the brow. So I grabbed the Essence Make Me Brow. It has been years since I've tried this. Back when I originally tried it, I wasn't a fan of this kind of brow product. So now that I am, um, I'm excited to try it again because this is way cheaper than like the Benefit Gimme Brow. I like the e.l.f. Wow Brow but I do find that one dries out so fast. Like I feel like I'm having to replace that all of the time, all of the time. And even though it's only like four bucks, it'd be nice to not have to freaking replace it all the time. I wanna kind of brush through that a little bit. It's definitely a little bit um, more pigmented than the e.l.f. Wow Brow, like right off the bat. I mean, that applied so easily. I got, again, I was just kind of guessing the shade Ashy Brows because I figured it wouldn't pull too warm. But again, all of these kinds of products have the same like type of small brush. This says it has filling fibers to kind of help fill in the areas in between. This is doing a great job. I would buy this again. Like I will probably end up using this up. Like I feel like the e.l.f. Wow Brow, part of the reason I love it is because the second I open it, it's really easy to throw in and it like is never over the top. Like it's never too much. But because of that, it's like dried out and weird after like three or four weeks. So I like that this, even though I maybe have to be slightly more careful with it, I'm hoping this lasts longer. Next up is the Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. So I have used this once. Did I actually use it? <laughs> Why can't I remember? Maybe I didn't. Cause I've been like, I feel like I, I just, I remember opening it in a haul. Listen, powder foundation is truly one of my like top favorite makeup product types. Like it's something that anytime a brand I like launches one, I'm like, I'm gonna need to try that. Like above concealer, above foundation, above brow stuff. Like I love powder foundation because it does that coverage that you need. It's so freaking fast when you're in a hurry and you don't necessarily want to, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so smoothing. Look at how smooth my nose looks. Like it looks like airbrushed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, 
I just feel like it's definitely got the e.l.f. camo powder foundation vibes. Very, very smoothing. This, is that the smell I was smelling though? It has a smell that I don't know is necessarily intentional. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that it was necessarily added to it, but it's definitely there. Kind of smells like chalk, like school chalk, but it doesn't feel chalky. So I don't want that to like, that's probably a terrible word to use when I'm talking about a powder. It doesn't feel chalky at all, but it does have a certain smell. It's already gone away, but you, you smell it while you're putting it on but I feel like my skin looks so smooth. It definitely adds a little bit of coverage. Again, this is the kind of product that if you put on just a sunscreen and then this, you basically look like you have on a full base of foundation. Like it's just so nice. So excited to play with this more. This is definitely going right into my vanity because I know like I'm already digging the way this looks. That was the, <laughs> not sponsored by BK Beauty. I just, I was sent some of their brushes a while ago and I'm finally digging into them. And I, they're all wildly soft. They're so nice. Anyway, this is the 105 because I know a lot of you guys will ask. Okay, let's do eyes next and then we'll do some other face and some lip stuff. I have three of their little, not quads, like little sex, sextants. No, that's a navigational tool on a ship. Uh, so I've got six of the, no, three of these, and I have bronzed this way. These are super inexpensive, and they're just really pretty little color combinations. So they've got ones that have a lot more color, like they have a blue one, a purpley one. I want to say they have like a green one. So this is the bronzy one, bronzed this way. And then I also have a Coral Me Maybe, which is one of my favorites. And then I also have Nothing Compares to Nude, which if you're like into lighter nudes, you would definitely like this. A lot of these shimmers are beautiful, like one shadow looks. Um, it's just good quality. I'll swatch some of this because I'm not going to use this one today. I've used a lot of these in, in videos recently, but just really pretty shimmers. They blend pretty well. I'm going to use bronzed this way and use, I think, this bronzy color. I think we're going to go a little a little deeper today. But yeah, I love that these are really good one shadow looks, but then they also have good blending shades. They're not expensive, very much akin to the L $4 ones. They're little bite-sized ones. Very similar, I think, in quality, very similar colorway options, and very similar price point. However, I think the Essence ones are nicer because they have two extra shades, they have six shades, and they have a little mirror they, you know, they're just a little bit cuter. I will say the words rub off really easily on these though. So just, you know, if that's something that's gonna bother you, that is something that seems to be true for all of these. But yeah, they blend. I mean, I'm not using any other shadow. That was just that one shadow and it just blends so, so easily. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the matte brown here. A little bit of fallout from these. Um, you know, if you're someone that is gonna really be bothered by that, I would say just do your eye makeup first. Also, the concealer is definitely sinking in just a little bit to the fine lines. So the eyeliner I want to try is there. This is something I got a few DMs about. Uh, they were curious about the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It says it's waterproof. Sounds like it could be, wow, that is creamy as could be. Oh my gosh. Um, this is in like their dark brown. Uh, it's called But First Espresso. I'm gonna have to get some coffee after this. But it seems like it might be similar to the Makeup by Mario, the perfect brown liner that I love, that I've been searching for a dupe. So I'm excited to try this. My big question is, will it transfer if I put it in the waterline? So I'm gonna kind of tight line with it just a little bit. It's so creamy, you guys. And then I'm gonna put it in the upper waterline. Definitely was easy to apply. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And this is not retractable, so you're gonna have to sharpen it. That doesn't bother me. I mean, it just kind of is what it is. But yeah, I, I've been drawn to dark browns and I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's because of my eye color. Sometimes dark black can be too stark and I don't mind a stark black liner. I've literally used that kind of liner my whole life, you know? But lately I've just been drawn to the dark browns because they look just as dark, but sometimes they can, I feel like, pull out the green of my like hazily eyes a little bit more. I don't even know if that's true, but I just feel that way. <laughs> so, so far very minimal transfer down, which is about akin so far to the Makeup by Mario that I love. So to show you all of that in better lighting for right now while I've got it, that eyeshadow I just think is so pretty. The liner, like I said, looks pretty nice. So the mascara we're gonna try, <laughs> Essence, makes my favorite mascara. So one of my favorites is the Volume Stylist, this one here. However, I've been noticing, and you may have seen in recent like vlogs of mine, it'll transfer up here. 
and I've been back to using my lash serum so I'm like well maybe because my lashes are longer because that's kind of abnormal for me but lately it's been happening a lot it's driving me crazy when I watch back footage so sorry ahead of time but anyway it's been this that's doing it so I'm like dang do I need a water did they make a waterproof version of this so I do still love this and I love the lash princess with the green writing however I just ordered it's not here yet but I just ordered the lash princess but the waterproof version, because I want to give that a whirl and see how I like it. But for today, I got another one of their waterproofs. This is the Get Big Lashes Volume Boost. So we're going to give it a whirl. I have not heard anything about this line. I tried the Panda Eyes one. I know a lot of you guys like. I was not a big fan of, but this, I like the big old fat Mac Daddy, like, <laughs> wand. Essence knows, like, they have to know their mascara game is their strong suit. Because they make, at this point, so many mascaras. Like, when you look... If you have a place that sells essence in person near you like it's all mascaras and then they also have other stuff but like they know what we're there for okay so this is not volumizing super fast like the other mascaras i love from them it's not looking terrible though but it you know i'm used to it just going pretty pretty quickly but it looks nice like it's got a little volume but i feel like it still looks natural so if you're into a more not totally natural look, but like this, you might like this more than the other ones because the other ones I definitely feel like give more volume quickly, more quickly. And it's doing a good job of separating, which sometimes with wands like this is not the case, but I feel like it's keeping my lashes really nice and separated. And back to the concealer, now looking at it, I feel like it's starting to look a little bit cakey, cakier than it did. Like as I've had to kind of mess with it a little bit, I might pop a little bit more on when I'm done with this eye look just because I feel like with some of the shadow kind of falling down. So we'll just kind of see if it'll play nice. I mean, I'm breaking all the rules. I've already put a powder on, like <laughs> wearing white after Labor Day. All right, so all in all, you know, I think it looks pretty good. This is not my favorite Essence mascara. I can tell you that I would not need to try this again. Um, I would definitely opt for this or like I said, the Lash Princess with the green writing. That is definitely my favorite right now. So for bronzer, we have got the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. The tone of this looks really nice. I know this is a product a lot of people like. It seems nice and creamy and like easy to blend. We're gonna see. I mean, that's going on pretty nice. It's just so smooth. Like it's finely milled. A lot of good bronzer discoveries lately. Kind of has a slight smell. I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is though. And it's not super strong, but just slightly beachy, like slightly coconutty or like suntan lotion, but like in a good way. So yeah, I feel like that looks pretty, for a bronzer, that looks pretty darn natural. Thinking about our next trip, this may go with, cause that's looking real smooth and it's not looking super powdery or anything. Like, man, I love bronzer so much. I wanna try this on um, just for funsies cause we're gonna put something different on for our lips in a minute but I wanna try this on just for now so we can kind of see how it works and then we'll swap it out. So this is the uh, Cranberry Lip Oil with Tinting Effect. I think it's gonna kind of turn like a pinky. I mean, it already is really. It has a slight smell, it's pleasant. I mean, it's pink, I don't know. I'll keep it on for a little bit. I'm not always into like this shade of pink, so we'll see, that's more of a me thing, but it feels nice, it feels like a nice lip oil. So for blush, I'm a little torn. I'm gonna use this because I've heard it's a dupe for the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, which I have and I wanna try and I'm gonna add this to my dupes list to try out and share in a future dupes video. Um, shameless plug for my dupes playlist. I'll put right here if you want to watch some of my drugstore dupes videos. I work tirelessly on them, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I do work hard on them and I'm always proud of the dupes uh, we find. So anyway, this one supposedly, I think this is the one that's supposed to be a dupe for that because it's like a nice kind of blue toned pink, you know what I mean, more cool tone. So this is in the shade, the Berry Connection. And correct me if I'm wrong, maybe this isn't the exact one, but it, boy, it looks awfully similar. All right, I always have to be careful with this kind of blush because I don't want to go like, gosh, it's looking so pretty. Ah, and I've definitely lately been more into putting the blush like higher up versus like right down here. I mean, I kind of do both, but lately I've just been having fun with putting it a little higher. This is looking a lot like that one, you guys. See how like that higher blush just like lifts up your face a little bit and it's just kind of fun. It's just like different. Anyway, wow, definitely liking the way this looks. It's, boy, it's awfully similar to that Dior one. Just saying. 
So, oh my gosh, I have like three things for highlight. Um, I have, I'm not gonna use this one because I've used it a million year times and four million years. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It is one of my absolute, absolute favorites. It looks so like natural and beautiful on the skin. So love this, highly recommend. I've repurchased. I will always have this in my world. I travel with this a lot too because I feel like it just always looks good. But I have, they have this new, the highlighter and this is in mesmerizing shade number one and so i want to try this yeah so it's definitely more just like a little punchier let me actually swatch this next to the essence pure nude if you're curious actually they look i mean they're different tones but they look kind of similar sheen wise so that's the essence pure nude that i've had for years this is the new the highlighter so obviously different tones but mm, that pure nude man now, the other thing I have that's new, that's kind of, I think, more like a blush topper or like an all-in-one cheek color is their Essence Kissed by the Light Multi-Use Illuminating Powder in Star Kissed. This is what it looks like. So curious. So what does this look like all swatched together? Yeah, it's definitely more of a, it's like an all-in-one glowy blush. So I think I might use this as a topper just to see because that's the one I'm like the most interested in, you know? Definitely adds that nice sheen. I'm tapping some of this off because it'd be a lot, I think. It's really pretty though. I feel like it adds that really nice glow, a little bit of color. So if you were trying to be really quick and just put one thing on your cheeks and you didn't want to mess with bronzing it a bit, blushing it a bit and highlighting, I really feel like you could just go in with a swipe of this and it would look really, really pretty. I'll tap on a little bit of this too because, well, why not? But it's, it's going to be a lot. I'll put some of this on my nose. How about that? I always feel like a reindeer. So yeah, that definitely adds even more glow. I like it all. I mean, all of these products are really good. I feel like, again, another one of Essence's strong suits is like highlighters. I just love that Pure Nude one and it's been a, you know, cult classic for years now. So I'm gonna wipe this off the lips. Boy, that added a lot more color though. Like that looks like I'm wearing a full on lipstick and it was just that really quick lip oil. So if you want that feeling, like especially I could see myself if I were still teaching and I wanted a lip color on that looked like a lipstick with a little glow. I think I'd go for this because you're not gonna be worried about the way it wears off because it is just that lip oil. So as I'm like drinking coffee or, you know, having conferences with kids, like I, that looks real. <laughs> and it faded into a nicer pink. Like it's not as bubble gummy and I really like that. So we're gonna wipe this bad boy off because I have some other stuff to try. I have two of their lip liners. This is the one again that I got the most questions about the Essence Stay eight hour lip liner. So I think we're gonna go in with that, but let's swatch this one and the other. So this one I got in this shade. These were very picked over. It says it's waterproof. That's pretty cool. This is in the shade three, unforgettable. Very pretty kind of nudie pink. And then the other one I have is their soft and precise lip liner line. And this one is more nudie. It says it's long lasting, but it again, the other one I think is even more long lasting. And this is in the shade number five, legendary. This is a wooden pencil. Sometimes wooden pencils though, ooh, that's a nice nude. Sometimes wooden pencils can be really great though because they will, because they're almost drier, which sounds bad, they really stay well. Whereas sometimes creamier ones, even though it's nice that it's creamy, it can kind of slide around. So we're gonna see. Um, but before I put this on, I might see which this goes better with. So this is the Essence Lipstick. It's their This Is Nude Lipstick in the shade number one, Freaky. I could really not tell what shades were what in the store. So I'm completely was like, I think this looks good. So very, very creamy and moisturizing there. And I love Essence because like this packaging looks nice. Like the gold and then the white with a nice little E on top. Like they make it look nice even though it is way less expensive, but it still looks so pretty in your makeup bag. As shallow as that sounds, it's nice, you know? <laughs> So I, I definitely think this goes best with the waterproof lip, uh, lip liner. So we're gonna put that one on their Stay 8 Hour One. This is so close to my natural lip color. Yeah, you can almost barely see it, but it's there. So let's go in. It was very creamy, easy to apply, you know. Let's go in with this lipstick. It's a very comfortable lippy. My lips look humongous. Second of all, this is exactly my lip color, but better. This feels like a Charlotte Tilbury. Do I have that one with me? Y'all, this feels just like the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Like where they're creamy, they make your lips look bigger. Even in the sun, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it looks crazy, but you know what I mean? I mean, wow, just wow. 
I can't believe this has been sitting in plain sight at the drugstore and I did not know that this lipstick existed. It just looks so nice. So anyway, loving the formula, loving the shade. Like I said, this is the shade Freaky. It is so, so close to my own lip color. It's so nice. Oh, and it's making my teeth look whiter than they probably really are. Man, that, that right there is a win. Um, I have this Essence Juicy Balm. I wanted to, I don't even want to like mess with this though. This just made me think of being in like middle school. <laughs> oh yeah, and it has that Bonnebelle, you know, that smell. Oh, it smells so good. I'll put a little on just because it smells so good. Definitely added a nice little sheen, but yeah, I, uh, wow. <laughs> Essence, you little queen. All right, let me go back through real fast on my own, pick out my top and bottom products, and I'll be right back. Let's start with the bottom few, the ones that I'm like, mm, you know, uh, the jelly primer. I know I didn't use it, and I will. I promise I'll try it. But I just, it doesn't feel right. Like, it doesn't have that gripping feeling that if you're looking for a gripping primer, I don't think this is going to be the one for you. Same goes, this the pore filling primer I think was fine. And I do, you know, I do think it all looks smooth, but I, I just, I just have this weird feeling about it that it just doesn't quite feel right. So I will continue to use it, but for right now, I'm not like excited to use it again. Let me look again at my nose and make sure I'm not. Yeah, I just feel like it's starting to all kind of look a little congested there, if you will. You know what I mean? Like kind of gloppy and gloopy. And I, I have a strong feeling this might be responsible. Um, but with that also comes the concealer. I feel like it blended in really nicely, but as it kind of set in, you can really see, let me see if I can kind of show you. A, I feel like my darkness is coming back through, um, but you can really see where it's starting to like separate and show. And I did mention I'd put maybe like a little bit more on because with the eyeshadow, like that did darken things just a little bit. But I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's just sitting weird. You know what I mean? And I definitely prefer one that's just easier. I mean, this was easy, but I mean like, I don't want it within 20 minutes to start looking weird. Like I need it to last a little longer than that. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's like the worst concealer ever. There are plenty from the drugstore and from high end that I've tried that are worse. Like this still looks nice, but it's just not my like, it's just not the best that's out there. And then this mascara, I do think looks good. I don't want to say that it doesn't because I actually like the way my lashes look. It's just not my favorite of the mascaras I've tried, especially from Essence, considering that's like my favorite mascara brand. Like it just is. So I don't think it's terrible, but I don't need to buy it again. So continuing on my absolute favorites, I was so impressed with this bronzer. I have heard good things, so I'm not super surprised that I liked it, but there's something about the tone of this and just how easily it applied. Like, Wow, especially if you have fairer skin, this tone I got number three, Chocolate Sunday, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very reminiscent of the L'Oreal one that I love, the Lumi Bronze It, but this one is not luminous at all. So if you have always been turned off from the L'Oreal one, you might really like this one. This lipstick, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Maybe people are talking about it and I keep missing it. You know what I mean? But it's so smooth and easy comfortable i just oh my gosh such a fan they have a lot of other shades so now i'm like well i would bet like this is not the kind of formula i would like the reds and the bright like colors in because i think it's almost too moisturizing where i'd be constantly concerned about it being outside my lip line but with this kind of shade that's close to your own lip color i feel like it almost looks nice if it spreads a bit because it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger and like undone and i am very much liking that really enjoying so far the powder foundation you guys already know i love the essence pure nude highlight and so far so good with the extreme lasting waterproof eyeliner it's not transferring this is this is performing the way my makeup by mario brown one does so I'm gonna keep testing it. But I, if I found a dupe, I would be ecstatic because boy, first of all, that shade, the perfect brown and the makeup bar is always sold out. But second of all, to be able to save money, cause I've bought like four of those now, I just fly through them. So I can't say yet, I'm gonna keep testing it, but it's awfully similar. And then of course the eyeshadow little six pans. I love these, I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. 
And then ones that I'm just excited to play with some more um, that make me brow. I really enjoyed. That's going to go into my vanity. The mosaic blush is absolutely stunning. I really liked the cranberry lip oil. Both the lip liners were nice, you know. And then, oh, the Essence Kiss by the Light. I love the idea that this could just be your all-in-one cheek product. Like, I just think that's cool. So, all in all, I mean, there really wasn't anything so terribly awful, which, you know, think about this. For a brand that is so so much less expensive than even the other drugstore brands that are out there. It's so cool that they can still be churning out such great products at this price point. And you know, I talk about a lot of makeup on my channel. I try a lot of high end. I try a lot of drugstore. Essence is one of those brands that generally most of the stuff they make is nice. And I just think it's so cool that they've still stayed true to that lower price point because you know, there are those brands like L'Oreal um, that a lot of their products are now 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. At that point, I'm like, that's like a mid-range brand. And I know inflation, yada, yada. But I'm just saying it's really nice that Essence has stayed, has kept their prices lower and the quality of their products is so incredible. So I hope this was enjoyable, educational, fun to watch. Maybe you were just hanging out with me. That's cool too. Um, like I said, if you are into drugstore priced products, I know most, most of us are, who wouldn't want to save money on products that do the same thing maybe a higher end one does if you are into that i talk about that a lot here on my channel so i will link like i said my drugstore dupes playlist i'll also link my drugstore makeup videos playlist because i have beyond just dupes i have a lot of videos like this if you want to watch more from maybe other brands i'll link that i hope you stick around i hope you'll subscribe and come say hey to me over on my instagram and tiktok it is at it's jessica braun everywhere really and i love you guys thanks for watching to the end bye